Hello Capricorn, this is your daily read for July 12th. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's see what spirit has for you for today. All right, spirit, what do you have for my Capricorn babies for today? Okay, we got lots of stuff pouring out. So we do have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Two of Cups, the Knight, or the Page of Wands, the Hermit, the Six of Pentacles. So with the Four of Pentacles, you are standing in your power. You're being, you might be a little bit stubborn right now, which is not a bad thing. It's like you are holding on to your own power. You are holding on to your own abundance, your own, you know, it's like, I've worked hard for this, so I'm, I'm not going to just give it out on a whim. I feel like that you are holding on to your power in a healthy way, not because you're being stingy, but because you're just sick of everybody's shit. So, it's like, I'm so tired of people, is the vibe that I'm getting. It's like, you're not in a bad space to where you hate everybody, but at the same time, you're in a space where, you know, you're ready to look out for yourself and you're ready to grow. And that's why you're only keeping, you're keeping to yourself what you need to keep to yourself and you're not giving it out unless somebody earns it. We have the two of cups here. You are having a, a heart to heart conversation with somebody. Um, something that touches your heart. This is going to be very enlightening to where you're going to be following your heart's content. You know, um, it's something that's going to be very connecting. It's going to be very loving. Bottom deck energy is the two of pentacles too. So this is going to be very grounding and it's going to be something that's very stable. And I feel like that it, you could be in negotiations, so somebody could be coming to you or you could be going to another person and they're like, hey, this is what's on my heart. And then next thing you know, you're talking about negotiations of how this can work or how can we collaborate together? How can we work together and get to from point A to point B? With the page of wands, it tells me that you are making plans to put something into movement. It's like you've been sitting on something for so long and now it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to, you know, put into practice what you've already been training for. With the hermit, you're you're digging deep within. You could be dealing with a Virgo, you don't have to be, or you could have Virgo in your charts. But with the hermit, you are looking within. What is it that I need? How have I grown? How can how is this going to help me grow in the future? Is this something for my greater good? Is this something that I truly want in my life? You know, sometimes we manifest things into our lives and then we don't realize everything that comes with it. So we're either not loved enough or some kind of baggage comes with it or, you know, maybe the person doesn't want to learn. Maybe they don't want to grow. And then you just say, fuck the manifestation. I'm going to go somewhere else. The thing is, is that your manifestation is still out there. It just doesn't have to be with the person that you thought it was going to be with. And I feel like that that could possibly be the case. So you're digging within and you're like, do I want to choose me or do I want to choose this person? Do I want to do this by myself or do I want to do this with another person? And so I do feel like that you're looking out for your own greater good as to who you are on the inside now. How have you grown since the manifestation has been produced? With the Six of Pentacles, you do want somebody who's reciprocal. You don't want to be the only one paying the bill. You don't want to be the only one putting things together. You don't want to be the only one initiating anything. You know, it's like, I want a two-way street. I feel like that, you know, you're the type of person who's going to put things out there. And you're going to say, hey, I want to do this. The reason why I'm taking care of this is because I want to experience it. And I want to experience it with you. So I'm not looking at the fact that I'm always doing this or I'm always doing that. But I do think that you wish that... If a person wants to be around you, they can initiate shit too, Capricorn. They need to initiate things too. And so I feel like, you know, you're really looking out for that as to who's going to meet you halfway and who isn't going to meet you halfway. If a person truly wants to see you or if a person truly wants to grow with you, guess what they're going to do? They're going to come to you. They're going to communicate. They're not going to just leave it up to you. You know, loving a person is giving a person the access 
to totally fuck you over, okay? But that person loves you enough to not exercise that kind of openness, you know, to not exercise that action. That's how you know that a person truly loves you. And so even though, you know, you wanting reciprocation, you're leaving it open that, okay, I'm leaving it open for you to come to me when you want to. But if they don't exercise that, you know, then you have your answer. You know, they have to use their own discernment as to what to exercise with you and what not to. And if they have been busy exercising all the don'ts instead of exercising the do's, then that is your answer. So I do feel like you're looking for something more reciprocal. With the Empress, you have been planting a lot of seeds. I feel like that you have multiple trees popping up right now. So you have multiple trees, you have multiple journeys, you have multiple pathways. Your journey can go anywhere right now. Bottom deck energy is the two of pentacles. I feel like that you are talking to your higher self. I feel like you are in negotiations. Let's find out, Spirit, what, what zodiac energies is around Capricorn? What zodiac energies is around Capricorn right now? Look at Capricorn be dealing with. We have Leo and we have Cancer that popped out. So that's what I have for you today, Capricorn. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon.